Here is my page on the solar cooking wiki about the solar design T-square. So uh, I just added to this today and uh, it's basically a simple device which uh, allows you to design um, solar cookers. The difference with this and, and other devices is that it um, allows you to represent the sun shining in on it from different angles and um, I think it's a pretty good representation of the sun and it will allow you to um, do fairly quick design without having to um, um, do a whole heap of complicated mathematics. Anyway there's a t-square and it slides back and forth above your workspace and these uh, laser pointers, there's a laser pointer here and there's a laser pointer here uh, they are on sliders too and they slide back and forth along the t-square and they shine straight down onto your workplace and the object of the exercise is to bounce the light down from uh, both uh, laser pointers onto one point and adjust that point until the light from this one bounces maybe bounces twice or so and hits the ball the light from this one bounces uh, in this case it will bounce once and hit the ball and um, that's basically it so it's easy in front because you just um, you just got to adjust this this is it's called mylar it's um, a reflective plastic and it's an old piece, it's all crinkled so it wasn't very good but I don't have any new mylar at the moment and behind it I have a sheet of stiff plastic that was a table mat it's a plastic table mat just to keep it to um, um, a decent curve That uh, because mylar is kind of like um, it's uh, basically paper thin and um, you can't hold it to any shape unless you have some sort of backing behind it anyway down we go and um, this is how I keep the laser pointer on with a um, clothes peg coming down further now this is uh, I have an outdoor you can just take the t-square like I have two places where I've been using it you can just take it from one and bring it out and this is in a little shed here is uh, my latest little uh, attempt to design. With the previous one I had trouble uh, holding the, the mylar plastic in place. But uh, here's what I did. I, I bought these little mirrors and uh, I just stuck them on clay and this ball is represents the target. And it's um, I've got um, a screw through the ball to hold it onto this wood here and I have the um, um, the apparatus above it for shining the light down and each mirror is adjusted the same way this mirror takes the light from uh, coming down like this bounces onto it and the light coming straight down well uh, actually this mirror not but all the rest of them uh, the light comes down and hits the ball here is it's the shape is it's kind of this is like a half clam. I didn't do the the other side. I ran out of uh, mirrors. But anyway, if you can just hold your hands together, that would be the right hand, um, and the left hand would also go there, to, just to give an idea of the shape. And the uh, ball would be um, bet bet between the two um, heels of your hand when you cup them together. So that's basically what the shape would look like, kind of like a clam with the, um, or you know, half a clam shell with the ball uh, where the hinge would be. Here's another picture of it. Uh, it's not very good, but uh, this is just to show the light coming down and bouncing on the ball. And most of these are reflections. I'll go down here again. Here's another one. Now this one. On the reflections you can see the ball shape, there's the ball shape, the ball shape with the light on the ball and this is probably, I think I sent down the light from both 
um, uh, board pieces in this case. So this would be the second. Um, oh, I'm after pressing the button. Sorry. Let's go back here. And go down. Yeah, there we go. Um, this this would be one uh, one spot from one of the laser pointers, and this would be the spot from the other laser pointer reflected from the ball. And this is where one laser pointer hit, and this is where the other laser pointer hit. And it just so happened that um, this was, I was just taking a picture trying to uh, show the idea. And this is probably one spot here. You can, it's really hard to see it uh, all in one go. Uh, so this light hit, and the mirror is angled, so the, the light hits, uh, bounces to the ball. The, um, from the other laser level, it's angled. Sometimes it hits the ball in one go, but uh, sometimes it bounces off back here and then hits the ball. This is the um, how I keep them. On. Oops, Ooh, what's going on here? How I keep them on is with these um, uh, close pegs. Going down again. This is oh yeah. This is how to um, measure your a your angle. So you shine shine it down and. Um, 30 degrees corresponds to about two hours and in this case this was another example where I had one at um, 15 degrees this way one at 15 degrees the other so there it is bouncing at 75 and uh, oh that's the end of the little tour but this is a pretty uh, useful device and I'm pretty disappointed no one has tried it yet or no one that I know because I'll just show you down here I think you can see at the bottom cloudy 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 and this is what I'm going to expect until March is I'm not going to have sun to try this thing out but maybe you will because we don't all live in the same wonderful climate as me um, very very useful this is not a parabolic obviously and um, it uh, I think I have it set up for that uh, that it was set up for uh, about two hours 20 minutes of uh, time so the shape with these mirrors um, almost vertical beside the ball here and the light from the Sun above bounces hits it um, um, sometimes with one bounce, sometimes with two, and it's quite the big area. The ball is high up here and skims down, and um, so it's not a parabola. That's the main thing to to note about this shape, and it's good for two hours twenty minutes. And you can adjust. Uh, you can make one for that's good for one hour or whatever time period suits your. Uh, situation and these are just stuck on mud this is just uh, clay and um, just wet clay just stick them on and it holds them in place so that the whole thing works so please if you're into solar cooking just try this thing out and I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised at what you can do thank you